In this video, I'll share my experience changing the stop start battery and the main battery in my 2020 Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. I'll also share a couple of problems I ran into or mistakes I made and how I overcame them and how the job came out great in the end. You may have heard like I have that many people after a few years have problems with the stop start battery that end up disabling the Jeep. I wanted to avoid that so I went ahead and changed them at 3 years and 30,000 miles on my vehicle. Welcome to the channel. This video is not sponsored and all the opinions are my own. I set out to change the two batteries that are in the Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. I went to my local parts store and asked for the best battery they had available for my Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. I should have asked for the best battery that's an exact fit for my Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. The best way to access the batteries on a Jeep Wrangler is by folding the hood all the way back and laying it onto the windshield. I wasn't able to lay my hood back all the way because of the off-road lights I have mounted on the A-pillars, so I had to come up with something else. I ended up using these cam straps to strap the hood and hold it vertically, not allowing it to move forward or backward, and that worked out okay for the entirety of the job. Not the most elegant of solutions, but it worked out. Please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. And thanks for watching. After getting the hood strapped in a vertical position, it's time to unhook the cables, and then I use zip ties to strap them out of the way so they won't interfere with taking the old battery out and putting the new battery in. The battery has one hold down. I think it's a 10 millimeter bolt. Using a long extension, it's easy to reach down, loosen that up, and then remove the battery. Underneath the main battery is a small access panel that allows you access to the auxiliary battery or stop start battery. Remove the two 10 millimeter bolts from that small panel and then take that and put that aside for safekeeping. With that small panel removed, you can access the battery leads, disconnect them, and then remove the stop start or auxiliary battery. Overlanding 21 has made a video on how to delete the stop start battery altogether. There's gonna be a link appearing above if you wish to go see that video. The battery posts from the old auxiliary battery need to be removed and reinstalled on the new auxiliary battery. I did not have a Torx bit that would fit those properly. I ended up using some vice grips and I was actually lucky to get one out. You definitely want to get these out and reuse them. From what I was told, it's a very difficult product. You have to order it uh, just to get a couple new ones. Once you have those posts reinstalled, it's a simple matter because the battery is so small and light, it's pretty easy to drop that back into the stop start battery location. According to what I've read and heard, after about three years, a lot of people have run into trouble with these stop start batteries and it's actually ended up leaving them stranded. Knowing that, I replaced mine at three years and 30,000 miles. After you get all the battery connections made, it's a simple matter to replace the access door, get the bolts tightened down, and then you're ready to move on to putting your new main battery in. I removed this connector from the old battery and reinstalled it on my new battery. It has a little clip that clips right onto the a spot on the battery there. With the battery leads and winch cables zip tied out of the way, it's pretty easy to put the new battery in. That's when I realized that the new battery I bought was about an inch and a quarter shorter than the old battery, and I was worried about it sliding around when going off-road. The parts store agreed to take it back and give me credit towards the battery that was the exact fit for my Jeep Wrangler Eco Diesel. My neighbor was kind enough to give me a ride to change the battery out. Thanks a lot, Bill. The new exact fit battery was actually $90 cheaper and had more cold cranking amps than the original battery I purchased. 
I would have saved myself a lot of trouble had I asked for an exact fit battery and had I measured the original battery on my Jeep Wrangler, which I didn't do. I just went in to the parts store and said I wanted the best battery I could possibly get. I reinstalled the battery hold down and began to hook up all my cables to my new battery. I got the new battery all hooked up and unfortunately for me, you can see it on the small picture here, my battery cover was sitting on top of the engine. I had forgotten to put that back. The battery cover would not go on with the leads connected. So I had to remove them again one more time, reinstall the battery cover, and then reinstall the leads. The old batteries may have had quite a bit more life in them, but when you're going off road and getting way off the grid, I wanna be 100% certain the batteries I have in my vehicle especially with a notorious stop-start battery going bad, that I was ready to go and I wouldn't have a problem. The batteries cost a few bucks, but it's not a real lot of money for a lot of peace of mind, knowing that my batteries are going to work when I'm out on the trail. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. And don't forget, the best is yet to come.